I, I lost everything that meant anything to me. So at that point, I just wanted to die. Nine years ago, dusting treasures in a glass case, a foreign concept for Siri Johnson. As the years went on, I decided it's not the lifestyle I wanted to live, being homeless, out on the streets, trying to, you know, get any uh, fix any way possible. And um, I tried to commit suicide, and when I came through from that, I decided it was time to go to detox. With a clear head, Siri was able to muster up the courage to begin dealing with the wreckage of her past, getting tested for HIV, intuitively knowing what the results would be. I basically thought I, it was my fault <laughs> that I let it happen. So I just haven't, I didn't want to accept the matter at the hand, so I ran from it for quite a while. Here at AIDS Vancouver Island, Leanne Cunningham is on the front lines helping people like Sari shift from denial to solution. And that's getting easier thanks to a new Stop HIV clinic available in Campbell River every two months. There's your, there's your sharps and cookers, you said? It's a seek and treat model. There's a lot of obstacles for some people just with transportation issues, right? You know, and, and um, with, with Sari in mind, it was, it was making sure that her safety was always first in hand and accompanying her to Vancouver. But things, you know, things change and it's not always something that can happen. And so in her case particularly, the visits stopped. They, they came to an abrupt halt and, and it was not, not conducive to healthy living. It's unique because we have um, we have different members of our healthcare team. We have nurse nurse clinicians um, t together with um, the positive wellness counselors from AIDS Vancouver Island, um, partnered with um, specialized um, clinicians in mental health and addictions, um, partnered with dietitians, and partnering with public health to make sort of a one stop shop for um, for our HIV clients. Once homeless and hopeless. Today, Sari's life seems especially precious, and she hopes her story will inspire others. Get the health care that you're needed because you can live a normal and long, long and normal and healthy life with the help of the medications and the support systems out there. It's just a matter of having the courage to come out and look for that help. In Campbell River, I'm Marjorie Greaves.